G'day everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna spend a few minutes learning how to model this bolt here. Uh, so there's some new things going on here that you probably haven't looked at before, and that is things like creating thread on a shaft here. So without further ado, let's jump in. We're gonna start a new file and we're gonna start modeling this. So the first thing I might do here is just hit save and I'm just gonna call this bolt. And I'm going to save this into uh, a folder or a project container that I've got set up called assembly intro. So I'm just going to hit save on that and away we go. All right. So the first thing we need to think about is the head of the bolt. So I'm going to draw this in the top view and I'm just going to click on sketch and we will get started with a polygon here. And the one I'm going to use is this circumscribed polygon. And the first thing I'm going to do on the center there, I'm just going to pull out. Now you can see, you can see the number six, which is here. So if I change uh, the number of that, for example, if I was to make it five and hit enter, you can see that it's changed the number. Therefore, you know, I've got a pentagon here with five sides, but I would actually like mine to be uh, six sides. So I'm just going to do that again. So here we go polygon circumscribed circumscribed polygon here we go and i'm just going to pull this out and i like to kind of just pull it out so it's nice and flat like that i've got six there i'm happy with that and i'm just going to drop that in now what this the size that we want this we're going to measure it in terms of being across flats now if we think about a spanner a spanner is actually sitting across these flat uh, sides of the uh, the bolt head and the distance between there is known as across flats. So if I just hit D and we select that one and that one there, currently it's 50. I want to make this 10, much smaller. All right, so there it is. I'm happy with that. I'm going to hit finish. And here I have this uh, hexagon and I'm just going to go into my 3D and I'm going to extrude this guy. We're going to extrude this a total of four millimeters. Okie dokie, we've got that done. And I'm actually going to put a chamfer just on the this top edge here. So I'm going to go modify and I'm going to come down to chamfer. And I'm going to select the edges through here. Just those top external edges there. And we're going to put a chamfer on of let's say one millimeter and we're going to click on OK. All right, so we've got that. So I think the next thing for us to do is actually to draw a sketch on this underside face here. So we'll select that face and we'll hit the sketch tool. OK, so now we're on the bottom and we're going to create a circle and that's going to have a diameter of five. There we go. So we'll finish that sketch. And now we're simply going to extrude that a total of 20 millimeters. So we're going to go negative 20 because we're, oh, sorry, my bad. We're going to go 20. There we go. And we're, the operation is going to be a join. So it joins these two bodies together. All right, so I've done that. We're almost there. All right, so the next thing that we know this bolt should have is a thread. So the thread is only going to go part of the way here. So threads are really simple to work with. One thing you do need to be mindful of is uh, the actual processing that your computer uh, kind of needs in order to model a thread because there is quite a little bit going on. But let's have a look at how we can do that. All right, so we're going to go up into the create. Uh, menu here and we're going to come down to thread now you can see here it says add internal or external threads to a cylindrical geometry threads can be cosmetic or they can be modeled basically what we do is select a cylindrical face and then we set the thread specification so really really easy we're going to over here it says faces select so we're going to select this face all right so the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to uh, determine the overall length of uh, the actual threaded section of this bolt. Right now, we can see that the full length, so it's basically putting a thread on the full length. Well, we don't want that. We actually want to determine 
how far this actually goes. So you can kind of position kind of where it's going here. And I'm going to say it's going to go uh, 12. Let me see. Yeah, we'll go 12 millimeters. All right, so let's go 12 millimeters from the bottom. Actually, let's go the other way and 12, there we go. And the only other thing that you just want to be uh, mindful of here is ch checking the modeled version. In fact, let me just click OK here. So what you can see there is put a thread on there. But if you were to zoom in, it's just kind of like a visual representation that there is a thread there. There's actually no uh, geometry as such. But if we edit that thread, I'm just going to go down to the timeline and edit that feature. And if I check on modeled, oh, now we're... Now we're getting some geometry there and click OK. And now you can see we have this lovely, beautiful, highly detailed thread. And I can see that detail there. So that's your job. Model up a, uh, a bolt similar to mine here. And uh, we're going to be using this uh, in our assembly in a, in a little while. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, get that done and I'll see you in the next video.